Everyone says that the rail system is so complex, but is it really that complicated? Well, it sure is. Come, let's piece it together. So, the most visible part, the train. There are thousands of parts in the train. Most people only notice the train cabin, seats, handrails, display panels, and the emergency call button. And lights and aircon too. But beneath all that are sensors and safety systems, running diagnostics non-stop to spot any anomalies. So it's like an IT center on wheels. Exactly. And these trains run on... Tracks! They carry the load and power. And I heard the tracks are smart. Right. And they can talk to us. The track circuit system tells us where the trains are to support safe and reliable signaling. That would be with our signaling system, like the traffic controllers of our train. The signaling system is like our smart traffic management system. In real time, it tells trains when to go, slow, or stop. By controlling train speed and spacing, it ensures trains don't collide and guides them through the network safely. Then, there are systems like the condition monitoring system, which can spot and alert us to potential track issues before they even happen. Ah, with such an extensive MRT network, I guess that's crucial for maintaining reliability. And of course, nothing runs without power. Correct. So most of our MRT lines draw power directly from the track. Wait, I know this one. It's called the third rail, right? Yes, the third rail supplies electricity to the train. Except for the northeast line, where trains draw power from the overhead wires instead. Oh cool, I didn't know that about Nell. But I do know that we've been upgrading the power systems on our north-south and east-west line for real-time monitoring and better fault detection and prediction. Yeah, and the Nell power supply system will also be renewed in the coming years. That's a lot of interconnected systems. It is. All of this data goes to the Operations Control Centre, where operators monitor the trains 24-7. Oh, so that's how operators pinpoint and isolate faults quickly. Exactly. And if needed, they can send commands directly to the train, which are processed by the computers on board every train. And the OCC alerts us to the faults as soon as they can. So, next time when you're on a train, remember, it is more than just the cabin, the wheels, and the tracks. It is one of the most complex systems in the city. And as we expand our network, that complexity only grows.